Hey everyone, I'm so excited because my new book, Microsoft 365 Business for Admins for Dummies, is now available. So why am I so excited about this book? Well, when you think about it, of the millions of small businesses in the country, only one-third make more than $25,000 a year. Only 7% of small businesses generate over $250,000 a year. That's sad, especially when you think of all the people who start their own businesses, and I was one of them. I started my own small business. And so here you are, you're just trying to focus your energy and growing your business, while at the same time, you have to worry about making sure that your IT environment is secure and that you provide your employees with best-in-class productivity tools, especially if you're trying to attract and hire the younger generation of tech-savvy professionals. It's not easy. It's very challenging. I've been there. I know what it's like to be a small business. And that's exactly the reason why last year, I spent most of my free time writing this book because I really believe that Microsoft 365 business, that that technology is going to level the playing field for small business. If you're a small business and you're looking for a solution, the same solution that Fortune 500 companies are using to provide their employees with enterprise class productivity tools that's cloud-based, while at the same time ensuring that security requirements in today's threat landscape are met, then my book, Microsoft 365 Business for Admins for Dummies, is for you. Well, you might be thinking, yeah, but I'm a small organization, and I have a small IT team, and they're very junior. There's no way we will be able to implement Microsoft 365 Business, especially since it comes with Office 365, Enterprise Mobility, Plus Security, and Windows 10. Well, let me tell you this. In the book, I tell a story of a young freshman college student with no IT background. He's not an engineer. He's not an infrastructure guy. And he was able to implement the solution for a small organization. During the implementation, he migrated email to Office Exchange Online in Office 365, moved data to SharePoint Online and OneDrive for Business. And he also enabled Microsoft Teams and Skype for Business for communication, collaboration, and instant messaging. What's cool about it was that he was also able to figure out how to configure policies in the enterprise mobility plus security workload so that the organization can have a strategy around mobile device management and mobile application management. To top it all, he also deployed Windows 10 on all of the devices in the organization so that they can have a standardized operating system running in their IT environment. So if a young freshman college student with no engineering or IT background can do that, I have a feeling you can too. So I hope you check out the technology and see what it can do for your business and use my book as a reference for um, your migration or your implementation. Um, the book also includes tons of information about what's included in the service, tips and tricks, industry best practices, adoption, what you need to do so that, because your investment in the technology is only as good as your users using it. So I also talk about how to roll out the, the solution to your organization. Um, I also encourage you to subscribe to my channel because I will be posting updates to the service considering that Microsoft 365 Business is a software as a service offering and it's constantly evolving. So I hope that you leverage what the technology Microsoft 365 Business can do for you so that you can be the small business that could.